This movie is for Dimitra. It needs a hundred comments asking her to going out with me. Make it happen pretty please. Anywho, let's do this. Amberol versus Spot already? This is how I'm actually listening to the music when I'm out for hoops or running, or even at home sometimes. So, I'm like, hey Google, open Spotify please. Opening Spotify. And by the way, I love you Coco. Alexa, play Ice Cube. This is Ice Cube from Spotify. Alexa, what just happened? My bad. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. You can do it, put your back into it. Alexa, next song, please. Hey Google, volume up. So that's how music works most usually in 2022. And you can use your old phone and a set of wireless speakers and never ever look back to a screen again. In any case, your laptop isn't exactly the future of listening. But GNOME fortunately provides some solutions for phone devices. One of those solutions is called Amberall, and it is a music player solely focused on local music. What makes Amberall smarter than most of that kind, is that Amberall knows that playlists and albums and favorites and all those, are super worthless features if you don't have a cloud sync. Instead, Amberall uses the capabilities of the file manager to feed you with sound which is the best idea and by far for offline music if you're asking me. Then again, who's offline in 2022? Pretty much one out of three, which makes me worried about the mental state of this channel audience, although I can recognize some of the reasons why people aren't on full streaming. But whatever, because next to spot that is obviously a Spotify client. This app could have been actually super good, but it has two great annoyances. First it only supports premium accounts, which is a limitation of Libre Spot, and it is not going to be changed. The other issue is that Spot for now is missing SSO logins, and there are a few more problems. The thing is, for all those to go away, we need an official Spotify client. Like the one we have for Linux desktop, but for GNOME phone. Good luck with that! But you know what's the most worrying of everything? The software design is moving to AI interaction, and your machine learning is as good as your training set. And the Linux community hasn't a good history when it comes to privacy and user data, so I wouldn't be exactly positive for the short future at least. Bottom line? For the last couple of months I have almost stopped using GNOME for music, because I find it completely impractical. It doesn't speak, it doesn't listen. Uh.